All right, so now today we are going to have a look at how you configure Gmail on on the on IMAP. So you have to set up Gmail using IMAP protocol, uh, IMAP service on your Outlook. And how do you do that? So that is what we are going to see live. I'm going to configure my own account. I'm not just going to show you how to do it. I'm actually going to do it right with you. So for that, um. The first thing that you need to make sure is that IMAP is actually enabled on your account. So to actually see that IMAP is enabled for your Gmail account, you click on this settings icon, then click on settings. Now over here under forwarding and uh, POP IMAP, you may need to make sure that IMAP is enabled as you can see over here. Now once you have enabled this, simply click learn more uh, option under IMAP access. This will give you the page where you can find the settings for IMAP so it says select an option for instructions on how to enable POP or IMAP I'm going to say I want to enable IMAP once I have done that um, so it just shows me the same settings that I just showed you right now on how to enable IMAP on Gmail and then it says once you have enabled IMAP in your Gmail settings you need to configure your client select client below to see um, specific configuration instructions for that I'm going to select Outlook because I'm going to be doing it on Outlook so now um, it says open Outlook or Windows Mail click tools menu accounts or email accounts and click add so you need to add an account from out uh, from Outlook directly and now I'm going to say okay I'm not going to open Outlook just yet uh, just let's click on okay confirm my settings so this is giving you the technical stuff what exactly do you need to put in for port numbers and SSL configurations and your actual IMAP server and an outgoing mail server and so on. So now one way to configure Outlook is by doing it this way. You open the Outlook straight away and then you click the tools menu, select the accounts and do it from there. The other way how I'm going to do it today is by going opening control panel. So I'm opening control panel. Let me close this. I have control panel open let me switch to large icons now in this you have to go to mail you have to find mail um, so th there it is mail 32 bit um, by the way I'm using Windows 7 let me just quickly show you the properties I'm using Windows 7 professional service pack 1 64 bit operating system and this should actually work even if you're not using Windows 7 even even if you're using Windows 8 or a lesser version like Windows Vista or something it should work so let us go to mail now over here in mail um, you have to go to show profiles now this particular window might not show up if you don't have any profiles yet you might straight away get what you will see after this which is this so I right now have two accounts enabled which is my own office account and my wife's office account so uh, the reason I do it through profiles profile is more like a a parent under which you have multiple you can have multiple accounts multiple email accounts I personally try to set up individual email accounts under each profile unless I I want to use two particular email accounts at the same time which I don't at least in Outlook I don't so um, I what I do is I create a new profile each time I want a new email account that way if something goes wrong with the settings or if something goes wrong with the emails or anything I don't have to worry about the data files for other profiles they are safe I can simply go here and remove the profile that I want to remove the other one will remain safe actually um, I can even copy the other one so I can just create a copy of my office account and I can give it whatever name I want say if I want to say office 2 and I have office 2 then I can go to properties and change its settings if I want to but and actually if I if I think that office 2 is not what I need I can just go ahead and remove it so that will no way harm my actual office account I just remove office 2 so you might think this will create any sort of ripples in my other accounts but no it won't and that is the best part of it that is the reason why I like to do it via profiles window so what we did is we went in control panel we went in mail then we clicked in show profiles if you don't have any profiles created yet you will straight away have the show profiles window automatically now you click on show profiles and you have this window now over here I'm going to add a personal account I'm going to say personal uh, deep sukwani 
3589. That's my Gmail user that I'm going to use for this particular uh, domain uh, demo. Okay, so now it's asking me your name. I'm going to say Deep Sukhwani, email address Deep Sukhwani at, uh, sorry, 3589 at gmail.com. For password, I'm going to enter my password. Now, you might have the temptation to just go ahead and click on next and then let it configure yourself. You can actually try that as well. It might work in some situations, but I personally like to put the settings myself and that's what I would prefer you to do it. We are actually going through a demo, so let's do it together even if you are configuring it right now. I'm going to input manually the server settings. Click next. It says connect to your POP, IMAP or HTTP server. That's exactly what we are going to do. So let's say internet email and click next. Now it asks me if I want to do it. Uh, okay, let me have these two windows side by side. So now it asks me if I actually want to have uh, POP3 or IMAP. I'm going to do IMAP. Under incoming mail server, I'm going to put imap.gmail.com. Port, uh, okay, we'll select the port later on. For outgoing mail server, I'm going to do smtp.gmail.com. Username, I'm going to put my full email address. And password, I'm again going to type my password here. Now, under more settings is where you need to put in the other information, which is port number and SSL and all. So let's go to outgoing server. It's you for SSL basically means authentication. It's not an unauthenticated account. So um, it's a thing that works on HTTPS, secured HTTP and not just HTTP. So I'm going to select my outgoing server requires authentication. Okay, not just yet. I'm sorry. We actually put in the authentication settings over here. Okay, my bad. I'm sorry. Let's go to connection tab and advanced. Okay, yeah, there you go. This is where you put the actual. We are actually doing this side by side. I'm doing it with you. I'm doing it for the first time. So please ignore my mistakes. Please forgive me for that. Okay, so incoming uh, server IMAP. It says use following type of encrypted connection. It says require SSL. So I'm going to select SSL. Uh, it again says require SSL over here as well so I'm going to select SSL for both SMTP and IMAP I select SSL port number 993 for IMAP that's it and port number 465 or 587 I'm going to do 465 just because that was the first one okay requires authentication I get that is already covered um, so that's pretty much it um, I can just click on OK now once that is done I can just click on test account settings to make sure it is working fine. I will click test account settings. Cross the fingers and let's hope it works fine. It says no errors. Oops we have an error. Okay. In your account properties the server responded and so on and so on and so on. Okay. Alright. So this is something we will have to actually troubleshoot. Support.google.com slash main bin answer dot pi answer. 14257. Let's actually go there. Slash mail slash bin slash answer dot pi question mark answer equals. Oops, that's a pretty big one. Okay, you know what, I'm just going to, I can't even copy it, can I? Oh yeah, it worked. The copy worked. I just selected it and I pressed Control C and it worked. That's awesome. I can just delete all the rubbish and I can just straight away go to this particular link. And I hope it exists. Wow, no, it doesn't exist in the first place. Did I copy the link wrongly? Did I make any mistakes in copying the link? Okay, I think I copied the extra stuff in the end of the link. That's not what was actually needed. Alright, so now we have the full link. Cool, it seems we are over here. So if you are repeatedly prompted for username and password, you're getting invalid credentials. Alright, so that seems to be a password issue. Let me re-enter my password. Do I need to enable this thing? Let's test it again. 
Oops. Okay, cool, that worked. Okay, so how it actually worked? Well, I enabled require logon using secure password authentication. And over here on the outgoing server, I selected my outgoing server, SMTP server requires authentication. Now, to be honest, um, you can say it was my bad because it actually said over here that it requires authentication, yes, uh, under outgoing mail server. But I thought maybe in a connection, if I do it encrypted, that will automatically enable that. Anyway, so that's how you actually configure Gmail account. Now, once you did the test account settings, it worked. Just go on next. And that's pretty much it. You're done. So now you have a new profile over here. Personal Deep Sukhwani 3589. I'm going to just close it. And now I'm going to open Outlook. It says which profile do I want to open. I'm going to say Personal Deep Sukhwani 3589. And just OK. So let's hope I have all my emails. It says downloading hierarchy. Okay, it's over here, Gmail, and say inbox. Oh wow, there you go. There are all the emails. I'm just going to select them and mark as red. So all my emails are over here. Oh wow, there are tons of them. <laughs> okay, so guys, that was it. That's how you actually uh, configure Gmail account on Outlook. Um, this was a hands-on video. Uh, so please pardon me if I took your time because I was myself troubleshooting while I had some issues and troubleshooting is actually the part of the learning process um, anyways enough of it thanks a lot for watching this video guys uh, do share your comments let me know any suggestions you might have to improve my video recordings and uh, if there is anything else you wanna tell me about please go ahead and do that do uh, subscribe to my channel, do like the video if you liked it, do share it with your friends on your Google Plus page, on your Twitter, Facebook accounts and so on. Thanks a lot again for watching this particular video, I'm very grateful that you watched my video and uh, stay tuned for more.